Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make Japanese curry. I'm gonna start with the curry base. Onion, carrots, apple, banana, garlic, ginger. Mince the onion, grate the ginger, grate the garlic. Banana, cut half of it, mash it, oxidize it. Apple, go ahead and grate, oxidize. Carrot, grate as well. Cut up the chicken. Brown that chicken. A little bit of salt, massage it, skin side down. Once it gets brown, we're gonna take it out, let it rest. In that oil, we're gonna cook the onion and grated carrot. Make sure you don't burn the bottom. We're gonna add a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, some baking soda. This is gonna help break it down. A little bit more water and put the lid on. Simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Go over the spices. It's mainly turmeric, cumin, coriander, and then some allspice, cardamom, and Szechuan peppercorn. Grind that all up. We're gonna prep our veggies. Onion, potatoes, cut in half. Voila, look at that. And then carrots. This is called langiri, which is a Japanese term for rough dice. Now that onion cooked down with the carrots, it's been stirred a few times, but this is 45 minutes in. Add that curry powder, make sure it doesn't burn. I like to turn the heat off at this point. Add a little bit of flour, cook it a little bit more, and that's your roux. Add some stock to it, more stock, ginger, garlic, that oxidized banana, apple, tomato paste, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, I think I said that right, and a little bit of salt. Add your veggies in, your seared chicken, stir it up, mm, that looks great. Add a little bit more stock, bay leaf, Put the lid on, 30 minutes later. Look at that. Eat it with the bowl of rice and enjoy. You got a bite? Thanks for watching till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.